Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Flynn's classification of computers in computer organization and advanced computer architecture. Okay, so this is one of the most important uh, concept in computer organization and architecture. Okay, so for the organization of a computer system based on the number of instructions and the data that are manipulated simultaneously for that purpose Flynn's proposed a classification okay the Flynn's classifies the computers into four categories based on the number of instructions and the data items that are manipulated simultaneously first one is SISD single instruction stream and a single data stream second one is single instruction stream and multiple data streams SIMD third one is multiple instruction stream and multiple data stream MIMD Fourth one, multiple instruction stream, single data stream, MISD. Okay, so before going to the SISD, SIMD, MISD, MIMD, okay, what is instruction stream and what is data stream? So generally, the programs are, are stored in the main memory. A program is a collection of instructions that are stored in the memory to process that instructions okay to process that instructions okay that instructions can be read from the memory okay so the sequence of instructions read from the memory is called as instruction stream so instruction stream is nothing but the sequence of instructions read from the main memory is called as instruction stream. Once the instructions are read from the memory by the CPU, then what are the operations that can be performed by the CPU that is called as data stream. So data stream is nothing but the operations performed on the data in the processor is called as data stream. So based on the instruction stream and the data streams, Flynn's classifies the computer into four categories SISD, SIMD, MISD, MIMD. Okay. So this diagram shows the four major categories of Flynn's classification. Here single here multiple, here single, here multiple. So single, single instruction stream, single data stream, that is SISD. Single instruction stream, multiple data stream, that is SIMD. Multiple instruction stream, single data stream, that is MISD. Multiple instruction stream, multiple data stream that is called as MIMD. Okay. Single instruction stream, single data stream that is SISD. Single instruction stream, multiple data stream that is SIMD. Multiple instruction stream, single data stream that is MISD. So multiple instruction stream, multiple data stream that is called as MISD. Okay. So, once again I am telling instruction stream is nothing but the sequence of instructions read from the main memory constitutes an instruction stream. The operations can be performed on the data in the processor constitutes an data stream. Okay, now we go for individual what is SISD, what is SIMD, what is MISD, what is MIMD. Now, 
we go for SISD computers that means single instruction stream and a single data stream okay so this diagram shows the SISD computer it represents the organization of a single computer that consists of a single control unit single processing unit and main memory here in this SISD computer instructions are executed sequentially one after the other okay so the SISD computer may not have parallel processing capability in case parallel processing capability can be achieved by means of multiple functional units that means multiple ALUs and also multi-pipeline processing okay here SISD computer may not have parallel processing capability suppose we require parallel processing capability through SISD computer we may require multiple functional units that means multiple ALUs or a pipeline processing so by using these two concepts we have to achieve the parallel processing capability in SISD computer so generally in SISD computer instructions are executed sequentially one after the other okay now here in the main memory the instructions are stored in the main memory these instructions are executed sequentially one after the other okay for that purpose the control unit reads the instructions from the main memory for decoding purpose okay so at that time the sequence of instructions send it to the control unit as a instruction stream now the control unit sends that instructions to the processing unit for process the instructions now the processing unit is nothing but ALU the processing unit executes the instructions by taking the data from the main memory for that purpose we have to use data stream okay so now the processing unit executes the instructions by taking the data from the main memory and execute that instructions whatever the output that can be generated from the processor unit so that can be sent to the main memory okay here the data can be flowed between the processor unit processing unit and main memory and the main memory and processing unit so the data can be communication between bidirectionally between these two units processing unit and main memory okay so in this way we have to process the instructions in SISD computer okay once again I am telling here the instructions are stored in the memory okay so that instructions are executed sequentially by the processing unit so first the control unit reads the instructions from the main memory as a instruction stream for decoding purpose once the decode, decode once the decode phase is completed by the control unit then sends the instructions to the processing unit okay now all the instructions are stored in the processing unit that is ALU now the processing unit can execute the instructions by taking the data from the main memory as a data stream now here the instructions and the data is available in the processing unit now the processing unit executes the instructions 
So then it produces the output data. This output data again send it to the main memory as a data stream. Now the output is stored in the main memory. Okay, this is the how to execute the instructions that are stored in the memory by the processing unit in SISD computers. Okay, so SISD computers, uh, the examples for SISD computers are older generation computers, mini computers and workstations. So these are the examples for uh, SISD computers. Okay. In SISD computer, so some computers have one functional unit and some computers have multiple functional unit. Okay, here in this uh, in this uh, computers instructions are executed sequentially one after the other. So in this uh, computers instructions are executed parallelly by using multiple functional units. Okay. So SISD computers have one functional unit. So for that one, the examples for that one are IBM 701, IBM 1620. SISD computers have multiple functionality. So that computers are IBM 36091, CDC 6600. So these are SISD computers have multiple functional units. So for that computers, the examples are IBM 36091 CD66600. Okay, the SISD computers have single functional unit. For that one, the examples are IBM 701, IBM 1620. Okay, now we go for SIMD computers.